Our nation is on the cusp of an energy boom that is already creating hundreds of thousands of jobs, revitalizing entitled, entire communities, and reinvigorating American manufacturing. With the right policies, the oil and natural gas industry could create more than one million jobs in the next few years. Not only can we create jobs, but we can cut our dependence on overseas imports while adding hundreds of billions of dollars to the government coffers at a time that they really need it. Recent discoveries have confirmed that this nation is truly blessed with energy resources. We have 1.4 trillion barrels of oil, enough to last for the next 200 years. That's that which we know we have. We have 2.7 quadrillion cubic feet of natural gas, enough to last 120 years. We have 486 billion tons of coal, the next to, enough to last over the next 450 years, and we need to use more of this strategic resource cleanly and thoughtfully and wisely here at home while also selling it around the world. Now, to tap our energy resources, we've got to speed up permitting and end many of the restrictions that have been put on key areas and put these resources off limits for some for environmental reasons and for others for purely political expediency. Instead of handpicking a few technologies, we must harness all of our resources, traditional and alternative, while also expanding nuclear power and driving greater efficiency. Efficiency is the most important environmental advantage that we have. Expanding our energy infrastructure is just one part of a broader effort to modernize this nation's entire physical platform. Lawmakers also need to pass legislation to maintain investments in our roads, in our bridges, in our transit system. We also need to invest in our water infrastructure. And let me make this clear, every piece of infrastructure legislation should include reforms to speed up projects and to encourage public-private partnerships and the use of private capital. It's sitting there ready to be spent. In fact, by knocking down the barriers, we can unlock up to $250 billion in private capital for infrastructure alone. Leverage this with public investments and you can create 1.9 million jobs over the next 10 years. Add up all these jobs we're talking about just in energy and infrastructure and you begin to put a lot of people back to work. 